What up, this is July from Kickback Couture, and today I'm going to show you how I get my vinyl audio into Reason. Now, I don't have to do anything with my preferences or anything like that, so we're not even going to worry about that. So, as long as my interface is connected, which if your interface isn't connected, then you'll definitely have to do something in your preferences, then everything will be fine. I'll jump to the preferences just in case. Command comma opens up the preferences and we're going to click on the audio tab and we see I have my interface selected already a Scarlet 2i2 USB so that's selected and it's working properly. Um, if you do not have an interface I suggest getting a nice interface. If you don't have an interface I'm not sure how you all use your monitors anyways get a nice interface with a couple of inputs one for a mic and uh, possibly one for a guitar whatever you may use and you can switch them out and sample vinyl in so like I said I have the Scarlet 2i2 I'll drop the link in the description definitely check that out if you don't have one it's a really good affordable option all right so this is my vinyl player Audio Technica stereo turntable. I'll put the link in the in the description. It has two speeds. One is 33. One is 45. It goes to 45 once you press the button down. Now the next part is the start and stop buttons. The button on the far right lists the button. I mean the <laughs> the needle. Now, once we lift it up, there's padding underneath the vinyl. Keep it nice, comfy, and situated. This right here lets me change the size from 12 to 7. So this is the back of the vinyl player. Here we have a phono to line switch. I keep it on line, which is the right side. Next is the aux cable. Next is the USB cable. I don't use it but I leave it there. Next is the power cord. The aux cord is the one we're going to use to get into Reason. The other side is aux cables and we're going to use these with an adapter to put them into my interface. So it's going to go into a set of female aux cables and the opposite end of the, that cable will be a headphone jack and I'll use another adapter. These are the female aux cables. We're going to connect these in to the male aux cables and obviously I cannot do this with one hand. Hey look we're back. So I ran into a small dilemma with this headphone jack because it doesn't fit into my interface. So the answer to that is an adapter. So this is the adapter that I'm using. Now once I put the adapter onto the end of the cable, it looks like that. This is my interface, a Scarlet 2i2. Now all I need to do with this cable is plug it into one of my inputs, which is my second input because my first input is used for my mic. You can use whichever one you, you would like to. It does not require phantom powder. Now this button here, or this knob, is gonna control the volume that goes into Reason. It's the gain knob. And I keep it on instrument and instead of line as far as the input settings go. I never have to change the gain unless for some reason I want it to go in hot or loud and distort on its way into reason which I'm not sure why you would want that but if you want it it's an option. The first thing we want to do is create an audio track and ensure that you you already have something playing on your vinyl your vinyl player. So audio track right at the top and I put it on input 2 so I'm going to click over to input 2 and we're already getting sound through. Now in order to in order to get this recorded into reason, it's a simple hit of the record button. And 
and we see here that it is recording. Now this video will probably be flagged if I keep the audio in, so I will not have this playing at all. Alright, now that we've gotten that taken care of, if you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe, most definitely let me know what you would like to see next. It's all culture, kick back and cook up. If you would like to know how to chop up audio, I have a video on slice edit mode and I also have a video on how to chop samples in the sequencer. If you would like me to do a, maybe a, a studio tour, definitely let me know in the comments and I will get that done as well. Saw culture, kick back and cook up.